I am back with the same VGC team as the previous video, and I didn't realize it at the time, but if you look at the Portland Regionals, all six of these Pokemon in this team were in the top 12 for that tournament. So I mean, surely then, this has to be a really good team, right? So let's go ahead and see how the team does. But let's see, first match is up against Tome, with also a brand new Pokemon, Archaladon. I do wonder then, is that going to be setting up a rain for it? Uh, the Tornadus, right? I mean, that's what I did. Set up rain, then you have Electro Shot. I feel like we need to go Tornadus of our own to try and match with his Tailwind. Now let's, let's bring our Chien Pao then. In the back, we gotta have Entei. And with how many Dragon types they have, let's bring Flusher Mane as well. Alright, first match of the season. Tome starts off with Tornadus and Regidragon. Alright, uh, there is still Tailwind plus damage here. It's nice that at least that they are both special attackers, so we can benefit from sort of Ruin lowering their defenses, but we aren't really too worried about that ourselves. He has to be going Terra Steel here, right? There's no way you're going to keep a Dragon out with Chi and Pao in. Can I get away with switching Fluttermane in, I wonder? Or do I need to... I think I need to Tailwind here, because if he does go Terra Steel, Fluttermane won't do much. And honestly, let's protect first. Just see what it does. No Terra from me. Okay, so he's not going to go Terra Steel just yet. Uh, let's see, do we match Tailwind? He goes Tailwind first. See, if I had gone Taunt, I would have lost his P-Tie. And we don't even know if it has uh, Mental Herb. Right, our Tailwind goes off, so now we're matched. Now, what does Reggie Drago do? Dragon Energy, okay. Tornadus should stay alive, but... Never mind, Tornadus does not stay alive. If anything, this is okay because I can now get a free switch in to Flutter Main. I have a quite effective move against... Tornadus with Icicle Crash, but he could switch out, right? There's no reason to keep Tornadus in now. Uh, I can Dazzling Gleam, I can Moon Moonblast. But I think I, I really want to make sure I get this Regidrago down. And let's go Icicle Crash, split our damage, I guess? I think it's safe to split damage, right? Actually, I'm tempted to Terra Blast. Yeah, no, let's regular Icicle Crash. Yep, he is withdrawing, but into what, though? Probably Flutter Main? Yeah, this is Fluttermain. How to task me. Alright. And that is boost energy. S please be special attack. If it's speed, then that might be an issue. Oh, it is speed. It is probably faster than that. We do have Sucker Punch, though. Moonblast does... Does get a KO on Regidrago. Perfect. No Terra necessary. And then... Let's see. How much does Icicle Crash even do here? Maybe... This also breaks Sash. But it avoids the attack. Oh, no. Well, then. And Dragonite comes in now. This would be going Terra, right? Still has one Pokemon in the back. We don't know why. No, no, no. Uh, we know all of his Pokemon. Tornadus is in the back. So it's these two are the, the threats. He might be doubling into Chien Pao. So I think I protect this turn absolutely. I'm locked into Moonblast though. Uh, I don't know if I want to Terra my Flutter main. I've become vulnerable to E-speeds. But I also, I dodge out a Shadow Ball this turn. But if he goes Terra normal now, I think I, j I just regular Moonblast. And protect for now. I can suck up into the Flutter main, right? But, ooh, Imprison. Oh, I can't use Moonblast now. There's no way it, uh, you, you don't have Moonblast? Wait, what? Also, that is Inner Focus Dragonite, not, um, not multi-scale, because that did way too much damage. Also, you iron-headed my Chien Pao, not the Dragonite. Wait, can I use Moonblast now or? No, so he, he just used Imprison, but he doesn't have Moonblast. Weird. Uh, well, Moonblast definitely gets a KO on the Dragonite. If it uses Imprison again, it won't do much, but I can try and Sucker Punch the Fluttermain, I suppose. Let's go Terra, Terra as well. We gotta, gotta get a Stellar Terra in, why not? If he... Ooh, no, if he terrestrializes his Dragonite here, Moonblast will still get a KO. A Fluttermane, though, I get extra stab with Sucker Punch at least. He's definitely going for an attacking move, though, if he's going Terra Fairy here. Our Stellar Terra, Sucker Punch, might get a KO. It might break it down to Sash, though. That could also be the issue. It could go down to Sash. Oh, look at how cool it is. Sucker Punch goes first, yep. Does it get a... Oh, no, uh, it doesn't have Sash. It has... Ba -ba 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 -ba. We know it has... What is it called? Booster Energy, so it doesn't have Sash. Bottom goes down to half. He... Ooh, crit on Chien Pao, not that it matters. We have Sash. But who does Dragonite get a KO on now? He probably goes, he doubles into, oh no. Dragonite gets a KO on nobody, because it goes down. Right, I, I was expecting E-Speed, but all right. Uh, both our Tailwinds peter out. I can Sucker Punch the Flutter Main, keep it locked in, essentially. 
If this comes in, we sh Yeah, we should be okay. Shit, no. Let's Moonblast, Tornadus. We know it's faster than us, absolutely. I can't outspeed it, so... Let's just go Sucker Punch. It's not very effective, but we know it'll get a KO. Oh, wait, I don't have the Stellar Bonus. He is attacking, and it is a KO. Perfect. That means Bleak Wind Storm is coming since he didn't have Prankster Tailwind to go first. And does a Moonblast from our Fluttermane get the job done? Let's have a look and see. It does not! Honestly, if this KO is Chi Pao... Oh no, is it Fluttermane avoids? We can at least bring in Entei so we can get off a E-Speed and get a KO. I was going to say, Entei almost did nothing in this battle, but he's going to get his moment to shine at the end. Ooh, look at how cool it is. Oh, I gotta wait for the pan to go around to the Entei. Look at how big it is in comparison to the uh, Fluttermane. I mean, it makes sense. You can ride it. Oh, such majestic flowing hair. Not the Fluttermane. I mean, Fluttermane does have nice flowy hair as well. Not me. I mean, I, again, I also do look kind of cute. But show me the Entei. All right, it's not going to show it to me. There's Tornadus. Really? You're not going to show off Entei? Come on. I will wait this timer out until you show off Entei. I've got the time. I'm hovering over E-Speed. Really? I mean, okay, there's a shot that you have the move timer in the way. All right, fine. E-Speed Entei gets the KO. Well, where did he go? Did he just... Did he not come back? Okay, no, there he is. The first win of, I hope, many in Season 14. All right, a battle against Junpei. So what I'm seeing is Rain Dance for Ogre Pond Water as well as the Duraludon. Uh, oh wait, that's that's Thunderous. Wait, Thunderous can also get Rain Dance, can it not? Either way though, still, Rain would be very scary for the Urshifu as well. Mm, I'm hesitant to go Tornadus because on one hand, I could Tailwind, but on the other hand, he can Prankster Taunt me and I do not have a, a Mental Herb. I will not be able to use that. So instead, Let's go with damage, why don't we? Entei up front, Chi and Pao side by side. The two dogs, or dog-like creatures, I suppose, on all fours. In the back, definitely a Fluttermane, I think, is going to be needed. As well as, let's bring a Rillaboom. Oh, shout I was going to say shout out to the Mousehold profile picture, but that's, it's a bunch of Chinchinos. <laughs> but let's see, Jumbei sends in Tornadus and the Archelodon. Is this going to be... Is it going to use the thing where uh, it lowers my special defense by two stages, right? Sharply lowers and then, and then follow up from Archaladon? Flash Cannon, I guess? Let's try and Stomping Tantrum. I have a Sash, so in theory I can survive. Unless he doubles into me. But I don't... I, I don't think he will. Let's, let's go for Icicle Crash as well. Ah, okay, well he protects... Protect Tailwind maybe then? Let's see. If he does Tailwind, at least I might get... Oh, it is Rain Dance. Okay, it does get Rain Dance. Hmm. This would have been very cool if we had... Oh, at least it's one KO. This would have been very cool if we did end up leading Tornadus and then set up our own Tailwind plus Urshifu. Then we have Tailwind and then our own uh, Rain. Alright, now we have to be careful though. It is most likely going to be a Water type. One, of the, Either Urshifu, Ogre Pond or something else, right? I wouldn't be surprised if he's up back to our Urshifu and Ogre Pond. Make full use of the Rain, why don't you? It is... Wait, it's not... It's Chim Pao. Alright. Uh, not really that much synergy, technically speaking, between the two because it lowers defense, but our Chaladon is a special attacker. I guess I have to Stomping Tantrum, right? Stomping Tantrum to our Chaladon. And let's see. I can't stay in here, right? He might go Sucker Punch, he might go... Oh, uh, I don't know. But at the same time, it's kind of nice having the defense reduction. I could go into Rillaboom. Actually, let's go into Rillaboom. I don't think he'll Icicle Crash this slot, so then we have Fake Out on the following turn. And I mean, also... We don't need Archie and Pao defense drop sort of room because his one is out, so we will still benefit from this. He is going to Terra. Terra or Chaladon for bonus Electro Shot damage, maybe? Does that mean you're gonna go into Entei? Because you know I have focus. Huh? Terra Fairy, okay. That is interesting to say the least. Protect from Chi and Pao. Ooh. And let's see. Stopping Tantrum does at least go first. But here's the issue now. It only does. About 25%, and that is before the stamina change. There's Electro Shot as well. I like it. It's a heart bridge. That's kind of funny. So, let's see. Special attack rises, so it's plus one. Maybe if it goes into... It is not going through a little bit, it's going to Entei. Bye-bye, I think? Oh, no, he survives. Hang on. I think I need to switch out. I cannot stay locked into Stomping Tantrums here. Chien Pao cannot protect at least, so we can fake out that. The issue is, Fluttermane is really my only attacker into that uh, Archaladon. 
Do I bring that or Chi and Power in? Nah, Thought Mane is bulky enough. I think we can survive that. And then we fake out the Chi and Pao. Alright, Ente comes back. He probably electroshots again. Does he electroshot? I don't know. You wouldn't electroshot Rillaboom now. I have Assault Burst. Uh, you'd probably just go for the... Oh, no, he's gonna protect. Double protect? Well, he can't double protect. Chi and Pao. Well, I mean, he could in theory. 33% chance, but no. Uh, unless it has Covert Cloak? Yeah. Dazzling Gleam or Moon Blast? Something tells me his back Pokemon is Urshifu, so I wouldn't... Uh, so actually having, like, Dazzling Gleam or Spread Damage might be okay here. Uh, also, let's U-turn out. Here's the thing, though. If I U-turn the Chi and Pao, I'm pretty sure Fluttermane goes first and gets a KO. So U-turn would get re redirected into the Archaladon. And I do not want to give it a plus... Another plus defense. So, let me actually go back into... Uh, let me go into Entei. Never mind, I stuck it in there. Gross Glide, oh, that is not what I wanted to say. Actually, Gross Glide didn't do... That was actually okay damage. I was going to say, what I could have done is I could have switched out and then brought Entei and had Entei... Okay, hang on a second. If I had gone Terra Fairy, who would have... Who knows? Hang on. I, forget everything I said. I intentionally let the timer run out. I was going to say, let Entei come in on the, on the right side, go down instantly. I can bring the Rillaboom back in to fake out Urshifu. But let's see though. If he goes into Fluttermane, I think it's bulky enough that it survives. It, it survives. We just have to be careful about Aqua Jet. Uh, Ogre Pond comes in now. Actually, Ogre Pond coming in now isn't that bad. We might still be Fostus with our Fluttermane. So Dazzling Gleam will KO the uh, our Chalodon. And for safety's sake, let's U turn out into the Ogre Pond. It's a good thing I'm using Spread as well, Dazzling Gleam. Because if he protects, that doesn't matter. Uh, because oh, actually, oh, this does matter. Gro he can he can have Grossy Glide as well, but he's not. Uh, I think Fluttermane might go down here actually. But let's see, half health to the Ogre Pond, not bad. Horn Leech, it'll heal up maybe what? A sliver. Fluttermane goes down, but I can now bring in. Actually, I can bring both Entei and Chien Pao in because U-turn, right? That will allow me to. Or actually, you know what I can do. Also, it's a KO. I can bring Rillaboom back in instantly because technically speaking, U-turn, Rillaboom goes out before the replacement for Fluttermane has to be chosen. So, let's go ahead and bring in... You know, I would say Entei because it's, you know, it's the Entei team, but I really want to see the stellar Terra Blast against the opposing Terra type. That'd be really cool. So, Chien Pao comes in on the right, and that is for the U-turn. That is not a switch in yet. Now we can bring Rillaboom back in. Still at full health as well, by the way. And then now we have Fake Out. It protected previous turn, so I can't do it again unless it gets lucky. And then, oh, look at that. Terra Blast. Regular effective. Boom. Stellar Terra. Super effective. Please don't get another <laughs> protect. I, I do wonder, actually. I, I haven't read up. I know Stellar Terra is always going to be super effective against other Terra types. Is that always? Or is that only for that, like, first turn, right? Because that's how Stellar works. It's only a first turn bonus for other attacks, for Stab at least. But I think this is, like, for always. Yeah, he tried, he tried, he tried to go for it. I, I can respect the, the attempt. But fake out, we get a clap. Honestly, that's actually kind of bad, because now it gets a stamina boost. But I think Terra Blast will do more than enough. It's at plus three? It's a Chien Pao, it has a lower defense from Sword of Ruin, and it does get a KO. I see your fairy Terra, and I raise you the Stellar Terra. 